everybody, this is Mark Rivera with GenreLine.net and I have here for you a review of Iron Studios Fell Beast Diorama 120 Art Scale. This is from Iron Studios. It has a suggested retail price of $999 plus shipping and tax. So from where I live, it cost me approximately seventeen hundred dollars to have it delivered and uh, this is now taken the, the place of the most expensive and massive piece that i think i own but i'm very happy with it and it is a delicate piece so you're going to want to have some care in fact depending on the lighting of where you build this i highly recommend that you have some kind of flashlight or a very bright pen light okay because the little holes for the figurines to go into that secures them are very tiny. And it doesn't hurt to visit the website and look at the images closely. Because that's what I did in building it. So let me just get on with the show. Here is the Nazgul. And as you can see, he goes in to these two holes there. They're on the back of the neck of the fell beast, And he has a... Morgul blade that goes into a sleeve right here. So the peg holds the Nazgul to the base of the harness, I'm sorry, the seat or whatever they call these things on the back of the fell beast. And there are these two material harnesses that connect on either side of the head of the fell beast. There are two holes. So you just press them in and it really works just fine okay next this head it's a strong magnet so it just pops on that's a great deal these wings you may want to push them in slightly to make sure that they are secure like after I'm done with this video I could see that I need to push the wing in a little more but they basically go on either side of the piece uh, let me show you the other side you can see here the piece, I got this properly aligned. I have to do that physically after I'm done showing you the statue. But that's my fault, not the fault of the statue makers. Okay, as you can see, the wingspan is gigantic on this thing. And the level of detail is pretty damn nice. You can really appreciate the fell beast for what it is, which is a monster. Now, all of these spike things and whatever, don't touch them. I didn't touch them, but I don't recommend you should touch them either because they will pop. These are the type of statues where if you're not careful, something will pop off. And believe me from experience, that's a very frustrating thing. Now, there are two figurine, there are figurines also over here, two orcs, okay? I realize this might be out of focus, but you could see one here running up the stairs and another one here okay and they each have pegs that attach them to the ground of the statue okay the base is beautiful all right then over here you have connected to the base already in other words it's pre-glued is a dead gondor soldier now i originally thought this was kirith ongol but now i think this is probably osgiliath which is the city that is invaded by the orcs in the return of the king before they make their way to Minas Tirith in Gondor. Then you have Smeagol right here and he connects by a two pegs, one under his hand and one under his feet. Okay, he's very delicate. They're all delicate. So once you have them secure, don't touch them. Okay, Sam goes in there's one peg that they put down and boom he is in the actual you know scene and he's secure Frodo is the same way holding the ring now here this was an example of the delicate when I took this out of the packaging the sword sting it was already chipped off so i have to contact iron studios about getting a replacement frodo but in the meantime 
Uh, I mean, I don't really mind it the way it is, but you know, if they can give me a replacement on that, I'd appreciate it. And I think I paid enough money for it, so we'll see what happens. But nevertheless, it doesn't look bad like that, but just shall telling you that there is a little dagger, like sting, that should be sticking out of his hand, and it's not because when I took it out of the paper, it had already broken in shipping. All right, but otherwise it goes into the pegs that are, the pegs go into the holes right here, okay? You can see the detail of the orc up here, all right? And he also connects with pegs. The, the orcs were probably the hardest things to find, the pegs. That's why I recommend having a pen light or a flashlight. Look at the detail on the bricks on the back. It's simply exquisite, okay? <clears throat> the tail slips on very securely. I don't know if there's a magnet or not, but here it is. But there is a key, okay? And I already showed you where the wings are. And then there's a key that connects the two claws to the top of the tower. And basically, that's it. You know? So this is the 120 art scale Felby's diorama by our you know, Iron Studios. I took photographs of the individual pieces themselves. If you want to check them out, they are at my Instagram page, which is I am, that's I A M Karma River. So just it's I. A-M-K-A-R-M-A-R-I-V-E-R. -E That's where you can find the pictures. Or you can go to the Genre Online Facebook page to see the stills. Outside of that, this has been my review of this beautiful piece. Thank you for your time and consideration. If you like this video, I really would appreciate it if you would hit that like button because the algorithm on YouTube responds positively if you like a video that you watch that you actually legitimately like. So thank you for your time and consideration and I hope you're all having a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.